Welcome back. Uh, recently we've been doing a lot of things that uh, that apply to every language, or most programming languages, like variables and expressions and stuff like that. But um, now we're going to do something that's specific to AutoHotKey, and it's one of its, well, possibly uh, one of its greatest strengths, and that's uh, sending artificial input. So basically what it does is it simulates typing on the keyboard, so that you don't always have to do it if um, you know if it's something you do repeatedly, maybe maybe you go to a website every day and you fill out a form or whatever it happens to be. Um, some people have to do that at work and it just gets repetitive. So there's other ways to do it. So what we have here it says send input, um, which is the it's usually the best way to send. You could also just write send. That's a command. And there's send play. Sorry. Play. And um, they have different uses, but for the most part, we're going to be using send input. And when we run this script, it types it out exactly what we wrote there. Um, there's another way, or something else you can do. If you want to press certain keys on your keyboard, you don't just want to type plain text. We could do, um, we can type enter. And so we're going to run this. You probably won't be able to see it very well, but when we run it, it presses enter. And uh, for that case, that'd be useful if we typed A, B, C, D, F, and we run that. See how it makes a, a new line there, because that's what would happen if you pressed enter on your keyboard, except we're asking it to do it for us. And um, there's a variety of other uses for this. We could also say we wanted to press enter 15 times. And if we run that, right now we just pressed enter 15 times, except we didn't just sit here tapping the button over and over again. So if you have to do something like that regularly, or you're just too lazy to do it once, you can just write a script and it'll do it for you. Um, there's another command we're going to comment this out, put a semicolon so that's a comment and it won't be run along with the rest of the script, and we're going to do click. And basically what click does, if you just leave it like that, it clicks once wherever you put it. So we're going to put our cursor over here and we're going to run our script, and it clicks which would minimize it as it would minimize it if you were clicking on, your, on the minimize button yourself, like that. So um, there's other things you can do here. I'm not exactly sure about the syntax, but I leave it's right. Click right. We'll click the right mouse. So we're going to run that. OK, and did a right click for us. Um, another thing you could do is you can give a position on the screen. So we're going to say, um, like this, this file, it looks like maybe like, like uh, 5 across and like 30 down. So we're just going to guess that. 5 across, 30 down. And we are going to run it. And you see it clicked the file thing, uh, the file menu. All right. And you can also uh, mix, mix that. You can use the right and the left. But there's also another way to do clicks. If you're using send input a lot, you can do L button, which is the left button. Right button is the right mouse button. Our button is the right mouse button. So we could do, um, we want it to type A, B, C, and then click wherever our mouse is at that time. And we can run that. And it's going to type A, B, C, and I will run it again. And you see how it clicked right there in the middle, and that's where our cursor is. Um, oh, well, beyond uh, just clicking and typing things in a text editor, this also works for a bunch of other programs. So we could open up Notepad, which is also a text editor. So uh, just for example, and we're going to write send. Here, let's see. If you look at Notepad and you hold down the Alt key, you see that these light up. So if we want to go, if we press Alt 
O on our keyboard.